Hi! It's me, Nicole again, and we're back to another educational vlog that talks about ICT. Without further ado, let's get started! In this vlog, we're going to talk about audiovisual material. Audiovisual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility. Aside from books or printed materials, audiovisual materials are convenient and it's easy to operate. Only a few clicks, you can gather information or create information through recording. Through audiovisual materials, students and teachers would not have a hard time gathering and conveying information. They also enhance the learning experience of students and teachers. So we have here definition of concepts. Audio material convey information through sound. These are materials on which sounds only are stored and can be reproduced mechanically, electronically, or both. These materials include audio cassettes, audio cartridges, audio discs, audio reels, talking books, and other sound recordings. So for visual material, visual material are tools to convey information through sight. This type of material is transmitted visually and not through any verbal or textual definition. Rather, it communicates through what is depicted and how it is depicted. It encompasses a wide range of forms, including photographs, cinema and video films, videotapes, paintings, drawings, cartoon prints, designs, and any other visual material. Audiovisual materials. Audiovisual materials are a combination of sight and sound. An ever increasing amount of information covering educational and recreational interests, as well as information needs, is being produced in a wide range of audiovisual and electronic formats. Audiovisual materials include sound recordings, film and video, graphic materials, maps, and etc. Audio. Audio refers to sounds reproduced by a computer or any other devices that are able to play it. It is anything related to sound in terms of receiving, transmitting, or reproducing on a specific frequency. An example of it is a stereo. Video Video is an electronic medium for recording, copying, and broadcasting of moving visual images. It is a program or movie featuring moving images with or without audio that is actually recorded, saved through gadgets like cell phones, cameras, and video cassettes. So there are functions of audiovisual materials. First is teaching music literature, science, and documentation activities. Audiovisual materials are useful in teaching music and documentaries because it needs to be seen and to be heard attentively. Second is teaching language and other content areas. Language is not only learned by reading it in a textbook, it also requires listening. Language also needs to learn its proper construction, their diction, and grammar, so audiovisual materials is a perfect fit in learning. Third, to foster communication. Audiovisual enhances memory retention and critical thinking. Through visual, the person can easily and confidently convey the information without having doubts. Fourth, to motivate interpretation. Through audiovisual material, you can easily interpret the information because you easily understood the concepts with the help of audiovisual materials. Fifth, to make use of sketches and broadcasts. Since audiovisual materials requires listening and watching, sketches and broadcasts are mostly prominent so the more you see and hear them, the more you get used to it. Next, we're going to talk about the types of audiovisual materials. For the audio, we have recordings and radio broadcasts. Recordings. These may come in cassettes or CDs. These are important for the content and evidence of communication, decisions, actions, or history. For the radio broadcasts, transmission of radio programs can be live or tape. 
This cannot only convey information in an existing place, but it also spreads from one place to another. By this, everyone can hear and listen news and etc. For visual, we have bulletin board and posters. Bulletin board Bulletin board is a form to display information on board. They can convey a variety of information from meeting announcements and etc. that can actually be found in offices and schools. Posters Poster is a form of displaying information using text and pictures. These are designed to be both eye-catching and informative. People use these for advertisements and other groups trying to communicate, such as job hiring or lost and found stuffs. For audiovisual, we have motion picture videos and films. Motion picture videos. Motion picture videos are videos of sound mixed with motion images. These can be either slideshows and presentations of images with audio. Films. Films are large sequences of animated scenes and sounds. Films reflect those cultures and in turn affect them. This is actually considered to be an important art form, source of popular entertainment, and a powerful medium for education. Next, we are going to talk about the guidelines for audiovisual materials in learning and teaching. First, images should be as small as possible. Smaller images are more space-friendly than larger images. Second, always provide alternative content. We will not know if the file or video will get lost, so always ready other content related to your main content. The alternative might contain information that the primary content is lacking for. Third, check copyright. Always research the owner to avoid bad consequences in the future. Fourth, use MP4 format as a size of 640 by 400 and a speed of 500 kbps. Right size is 640 by 400 or 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It is actually the most used ratio because you can easily read the text. Also, 500 kbps is fast enough for videos. Fifth, provide transcripts for audio and video files. Take note important information in a paper or print a copy of the video or audio to review. And six, save audio files in mono format. With mono format, everything you hear from your left earbud and right earbud will sound the same, which avoids confusion. And next, we have the uses of audiovisual materials. First, it stimulates interest and emphasize. Through audiovisual materials, students will be more focused and interested because they direct their attention to films or animated videos. Next, it promotes efficiency. Audiovisual materials help shape a person's knowledge as well as his or her individuality. It can improve his or her memory and widen its interpretation. And lastly, it clarifies subject matter topics. Reading text does not only help students understand the whole context, they need guidance because not all interpretations are right. Audiovisual materials help students correct wrong interpretations. Now, we are going to talk about the advantages of using audiovisual materials in teaching. First, it provides diverse teaching techniques for learning. Using audiovisual materials can let teachers think of any other ways of teaching. They can teach them through watching films, educational vlogs, and etc. Second, it simplifies and clarifies complex topics. With the help of audiovisual material, complex topics will be simplified because audiovisual materials provide easier explanations and interpretations. Third, it allows students to learn at their pace. Since audiovisual materials can be easily found in internet, they can rewatch and slowly level up their knowledge or memory. Fourth, it can be reused. Audiovisual materials can be kept forever through USB, hard disk, or memory card, unless if you delete it or the file storage will get lost. 
And lastly, it reduces the quantity of asked questions. Since audiovisual materials provides the overall content and is more detailed than the text, students can understand immediately. Since we talked about the advantages, we also have the disadvantages of using audiovisual materials in teaching. First, it requires correct use. If you don't have the knowledge in using them, it might get lost or worst, get deleted. Second, not all concepts can be taught. Not all audiovisual materials give detailed discussions, so we must choose files that are complete. Third, should only include images unfit for board. There are some audiovisual materials that place pictures that are not related to the content or one topic, so be careful in choosing a file. Fourth, might not guarantee learning. Not all audiovisual materials give correct and coherent contents, so choose audiovisual materials that give the right content. Fifth, to prepare it, good pronunciation is needed. Some videos or films give wrong pronunciation of words when the aim of audiovisual material is to learn correct and understandable topics. If a video does not pronounce the words well, then he or she is not learning. Sixth, it can be difficult to understand for children. Not all people understand videos, especially children. In this, they need proper guidance from parents or teachers. 7. A good internet speed is required. This is one of the most problems for audiovisual material. Not all cities or provinces have stable internet connection. It would be much better to save the video for offline viewing. And 8. The proper equipment is needed. Audiovisual materials need proper equipments like laptops, radios, cell phones, and etc. So, there are also ways to use audio to support learning. First, we have unit podcasts. Unit podcasts are weekly updates of teaching material and current situations. Second, we have live online discussions. Live online discussions are discussions between two or more people. So third, we have interviews with subject matter experts. These can be used as course or support for lessons. So fourth, we have student-generated recordings. It is used as part of a learner activity or to record evidence. So fifth are recordings of public lectures. Those can be repurposed and used for different contexts and subjects. So sixth is to demonstrate experiments. Example is sodium solution plus the periodic table. Seventh is to exemplify abstract concepts. Example is what is inside a flame. Eighth is to illustrate 3D models. Ninth is to demonstrate time passage. Example is awesome HD slinky slow mo. Tenth is to demonstrate decision making. Example is conflicts in the workplace, sources and solutions. Eleventh is to summarize. Twelve is to illustrate performances and music. And thirteen is to show practical activities. And next, there are three steps in producing audiovisuals. First is planning. The most critical aspect of producing. It is also a purpose of why and brainstorming how and preparation. In this step, this requires brainstorming, purpose and creating the video, the contents needed, and etc. Next is production. The shooting or recording stage is what most people consider the production phase of an audio or video project. This is where you shoot happenings or the content of the video. You might need props, script, and some people included in the video. This is also where you experience several retakes. Lastly is publishing. The publishing phase is the final part of producing audio or video for educational purposes and is often referred to as post-production. It also requires editing. This is where you cut unnecessary videos, add audios, and any other add-ons. This actually requires long time and focus. 
And for the last part, we have the programs to create, edit, and publish videos. To create, we have the apps Audacity, GarageBand, and Windows Media. So first, we have Audacity. It records and arranges videos. You can record audios clearly by this app. This can be downloaded on iOS or Android devices. This actually costs 199 pesos and with a size of 28.3 MB. So next is GarageBand. It records and edits sounds. GarageBand can only be downloaded on iOS devices, Mac, iPad, and iPhone. It actually has the size of 1.6 GB and it's free. And next we have Windows Media. It records and edits video. This can be found and downloadable in Windows PC. Now we also have apps that we can use for editing. We have Windows Media Maker, Virtual DJ, and QuickTime Pro. First is Windows Media Maker. It is free and used to edit. This app is available in Windows by Microsoft. This is available in Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and 10 and next we have virtual DJ This app is used to edit sounds and videos These can be downloaded on iOS and Android devices with a size of 23.4 MB It is not free and is 499 pesos in iOS and we have the QuickTime Pro It is a video editing software This app is available on Mac OS X Snow Leopard and newer The developers are the Apple company and lastly, we have an app that is used to publish videos. We have Vimeo. It uses the web accessing to YouTube, Vimeo, or SlideShare. In conclusion, teachers must educate themselves in new tools to enrich the learning process of their students. Thus, the use of audiovisual materials should be encouraged to enhance what we learn and teach. So these are all my discussions for this topic. Thank you for listening and God bless. That's it for my video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Goodbye! Oops! Before I end this video, please check my brother's YouTube channel. The link will be posted in the description box below. Goodbye!